All right, so today we have for you a, another cylindrical grinder. This is another fine uh, grinder from Switzerland. This is a Studer, a Studer model S20. Uh, it's currently wired for 220 volts, three phase. And uh, a couple of things about it. The work distance here between centers is approximately 25, 25 and a half inches. Uh, the center height is just about four inches or 100 millimeters, which gives you just about eight inches of swing, about seven inches or 7.9, something like that. Um, you've got a tailstock with a fine uh, adjustment for your uh, for small amounts of taper. Uh, larger amounts of taper you could adjust with the swivel table. Now the swivel table can swivel uh, 15 degrees in one direction and 30 in the other, uh, so that's quite a bit of swivel. Also, the headstock uh, can be swiveled or rotated uh, to 90 degrees or anywhere in between. Uh, this is a live and dead uh, spindle on here, so you can uh, grind between two centers or put a, a chuck in there uh, or a face plate. So this is a Morse taper number four, and in the tailstock you have a Morse taper number two. The grinding wheel uh, is about 14 inch diameter with a five inch bore. Uh, I would imagine you can get possibly a one and a half inch wide wheel in there. I don't know, you have to check the, the uh, website for the quotation. Uh, another thing about this machine is you have uh, the ability, uh, you notice on here that the grinding wheel is on, on this side of the wheel head rather than the side you would normally see it on. Uh, that's because this machine uh, can be adjusted in different angles. You can adjust it to 15 degrees or 30 degrees, depending on what kind of job you're doing or what kind of angle you're going to grind, or you can set it at 90 degrees to the part. You also have uh, an in and out that you can set, you know, as you're getting ready to set up your workpiece, depending on the size of it or the diameter of it. And that's all locked down and moved with this one lever on the side here. Hydraulics are located in the rear. Electrics are located on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and start this up. Looking at this control box here, uh, this is your beginning over here. You want to uh, turn on your hydraulics. The next switch would turn on our spindle, our grinding wheel. And the following mode would be the coolant. You also have different modes, plunge grinding, uh, oscillating grinding while you're plunging straight in. Uh, traverse grinding with incremental feed on the left side and the right side. Uh, traverse grinding with incremental feed on the left side or only on the right side. You have the um, ability to bring your slide in and out for doing setups in the manual mode. You can also start the workhead. It's variable speed. Let's speed that up. Or slow it down. Your table, you can have going manually. Now these are all manual operations right now. We're not doing a cycle. The table speed, adjust it here. Slow it down. Speed it up. You also have a dwell, uh, reversal time, a tarry or dwell. We've got uh, the amount of spark out at the end of the cycle, we're going to get to zero. And rather than going back right away, uh, we're going to wait a certain amount of time. You could put up to 99 seconds or 99 strokes, depending on uh, if you're plunge grinding or traverse grinding. Up here uh, is for using your in-process gauge, a setup mode, a running mode, or just working off the, the spark out timer uh, that's in the machine. Again, this would work with this here in this position. You're doing spark out with, it, with this timer. Otherwise, the other two settings are for like a Marpos in-process gauge, uh, which the grinder does not have on it. Uh, these final knobs over here, these are your feed rates. Top one is your feed rate for this uh, Studer a Sensitron. Uh, if you're doing production grinding or want to speed up your grinding cycle, uh, you, can, you, have your, you have your rapid approach we have right here. Uh, after the rapid approach, it will actually go into this uh, Sensitron speed, which is slower than your rapid, but faster than your coarse grind. It's designed so you can come right up and touch the workpiece 
and the grinding wheel will pick up that vibration instantly. It's kind of like an airbag, it's that quick. Uh, immediately switching the machine over to a coarse grinding feed and then into your fine feed and then your spark out. So if you don't want to use this, you can leave this off. This is good for, like I said, for high volume grinding and production grinding. All right, so we're going to turn the table off. Send the wheel slide back. So the first thing we're going to do is a plunge grind. Uh, right now I have the hand wheel. Uh, the in, this is our in-feed wheel. This is for the longitudinal uh, table slide. And this is for our in-feed. Now this hand wheel has several functions uh, besides just moving in the slide. Uh, it also has a couple of dials on it that you set. One of the dials is going to be for the amount of stock removal uh, that you're going to take off your workpiece. Uh, and when it grinds, it's going to back up to that same spot each time. The other dial in the center is for the point where your coarse feed changes over to the fine feed. So it's a changeover point. Over here you have a clutch. Uh, when we're working with this machine in automatic mode or grinding mode, this is tightened counterclockwise to engage the clutch in there. Uh, if you were going to do a hand, hand setting up the machine, bringing the slide in by hand, then you would loosen this. At the end of the grinding cycle, if your part is too big or too small, you make a fine adjustment with this fine adjustment knob. All right, so we're going to see what happens now. We're going to put it in automatic. The bottom row here is your manual, the hand. Well, this is automatic. Uh, this one will tell me whether or not I want to use the table or not. Uh, since I'm not going to uh, be using the table, I'm going to shut it off. I'm going to do a plunge grind. So we're going to hit this button. We're going to wrap it forward. We're going to start our work head. We're going to start feeding here. We're going to feed down to a point that I've set for our fine feed to begin, which is right there. So the last couple of tenths or so, we're grinding at a slow feed. Now it's gone to the dead stop. It's doing the four seconds I have programmed here and then uh, it backs up right back to where we started from about 12,000 stock removal again we'll do another cycle which is right here if for any reason you want to stop the cycle automatically you can go back with this red button again we start the cycle if for whatever reason I want to stop in mid uh, in mid cycle I can do that and then continue again by pressing the the cycle start button. And we'll come down to zero. First going into the fine feed, last couple of tenths, and then uh, time's up and it backs up. All right, that's great. Now you want to do a uh, traverse grind. So we'll flip this over to the traverse. We'll feed on both sides of the part. I want to make sure I turn my table on. And again, we're going to press the cycle start button. Now you're going to see that we have uh, the table moving here. Each time the table moves, we're going to increment in the amount that I have set. So this is going to go back and forth just like this until we get down to zero. Now if you didn't want to feed on both sides, you have a setting for that. Either side you want to feed on, uh, you can put the selector switch to. Most people generally feed on both sides. So this machine has been pretty well serviced here. Uh, we replaced a couple of uh, power supply boards in the control, so you don't have to worry about them going bad on you. Uh, we took the upper slide apart and the wheel slide apart. That's why we're able to move it so easily. Uh, everything is nice and clean and lubricated. So that's the Studer S20, a great machine from Switzerland. Uh, it's an 8x25, 8x24 size machine, 100 millimeters, uh, 220 volts, three phase. Uh, the, your rapid approach, your input, uh, your in, moving in and out of the wheel is done hydraulically. That's why we have a small hydraulic unit. But this table feed and your in feed itself is all electronic uh, with uh, step motors, stepping motors. So I think I covered everything. If not, uh, you feel free to give me a call here at Machinery Values. Thank you very much.